So today I'm going to be doing a hair and makeup tutorial inspired by one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm going to be recreating the look that Rachel McAdams had in her movie The Notebook. Now I absolutely love that movie. It's one of my all time favorite movies. So I'm really excited about this video. Rachel McAdams is also one of my all-time favorite actresses. I just think she is absolutely gorgeous and I just loved her makeup in the movie. So I wanted to go ahead and recreate it for you guys. And also, I did not do a voiceover for this. I'm going to be talking through this one. So I also want to know if you guys like the ones where I'm talking while I'm doing the makeup, like actually talking, or my voiceover is better. Let me know in the comments down below. So if you would like to learn how to get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. going to do is prime my eyes. I am using Urban Decay's primer potion. I'm going to apply this onto my eyes and then I'm just going to blend this in using my ring finger. I'm going to be using my Naked palette and the first color I'm going to take is this color right here called Buck which is a matte dark brown color and I'm just going to take that using a flat shader brush and I'm just going to go into Buck and I'm going to tap off the excess and then I'm just going to apply this on to my eyelid. She did have just one basic lid color so this is what we're going to be using. You also want to bring this all the way up into your crease because we are going to be blending it. Just apply this onto your lid and then up into your crease. This color is even with your lid and your crease. Take a crease brush and just blend this in at the crease. This is just going to lighten up the color a bit and not make it as harsh. This color is even with your lid and your crease. Take a crease brush and just blend this in at the crease. This is just going to lighten up the color a bit and not make it as harsh. Now you can kind of see that it's blended out and it's much lighter up here than it is down here. Next I'm going to take this color right here called Virgin. And um, it's just a really light matte cream color. So I'm just going to take this onto this brush. Now I'm just going to apply this right beneath my brow bone here as a brow highlight. I'm going to go back into Virgin with this brush right here. And I'm just going to go into the color again. And then I'm just going to pop this right into my inner corners. And I just think this brightens up the whole entire look and just makes your eyes look a lot more awake. This look, I want to keep it very natural looking, so I'm going to avoid putting any like harsh eyeliner on my eyes. I'm just going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean, and I'm just going to use this to line my tight line. So next, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. I'm just going to apply my mascara and I'm going to be using the Maybelline the Tubo Volume Express Mascara and I really like this because I feel like it makes my lashes look a lot more natural than my other mascaras do so just take your mascara that you feel makes your lashes look the most natural because she did have very natural looking makeup and eyelashes so that's why I decided to go for this mascara so I'm just going to apply this onto my lashes so now the eyes are finished, I'm going to move on to my face makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a highlighter. This is Benefit's High Beam, and I'm going to use this to highlight the upper areas of my cheekbones. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto the upper areas of my cheeks, just like that. And then I'm just going to take my ring finger, and I'm just going to blend this in in tapping motions. One of the main things that has always stood out to me about her makeup ever since I watched the movie was her blush. I just loved how she had really rosy pink cheeks. That was just one of the main standouts for me of her makeup. So I'm going to take this rosy pink color right here by CoverGirl and I'm going to take that onto my blush brush and I'm just going to apply this lightly to the apples of my cheeks. the scenes of the movie, Rachel was wearing kind of like a reddish lip color on her lips. It wasn't like a super bright red. I just went with this kind of reddish colored lip gloss by Mary Kay. This one is in the shade Red Passion and um, it's just a really nice red sparkly color which I really really like and I'm just going to apply this onto my lips. 
you can see, it's just more of a neutral reddish color and it's not too bright to where it like washes me out or anything. So I think it's really close to the lip color that she did wear most of the time throughout the movie. Here is the completed makeup look. Now it's time to move on to the hair. In the movie, Rachel did most of the time have just kind of loose wavy hair. I curled my hair this morning. If you want to see how I curled my hair, then I will have a link to the video down below because I have a video on it. So her hairstyle is very very easy. Basically all you're going to need is two bobby pins and some hairspray. What you're going to do first is you're just going to take this bottom layer of your hair on each side. So I'm going to start with my right side and I'm going to take this very bottom layer of my hair like this is the top layer and then this is the bottom and I'm just going to take that and twist it around. And I'm going to twist it about halfway like this. And then I'm just going to bring it over here behind my head. And then I'm just going to take my bobby pen and I'm just going to pin this in place. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. Then I'm just going to take my hairspray. This is the Garnier Fructis style hairspray and I absolutely love this hairspray so much um, it's my favorite one by far so I'm just going to take this and just spray the parts that I pinned back just so that they will hold and I'm just going to spray it very lightly because you don't need that much on just to hold this Now we are done with the hair and that is the completed hair and makeup look. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up. And I will talk to you all later. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.